The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has just approved a powerful new tool to fight incurable depression. Researchers describe it as a possible game changer that may help millions of people. It's a first of its kind nasal spray called esketamine. It's the chemical cousin of the party drug ketamine, and scientists say it can relieve depression in hours instead of weeks. Esketamine is the first truly new depression drug since Prozac hit the market in 1988. But there are still skeptics, in part because the antidepressant properties are not well understood. Joining us now is Z. Vezer Cohen, clinical assistant professor of psychiatry at Weill Cornell Medical College. Uh, Z, first of all, the key here is it works faster. How? Well, that's, you know, we don't know exactly how it works, and that's one of the kickers with this medication, but it's thought to work through glutamate receptors. That's a neurotransmitter that the antidepressants that we currently have do not affect. So it's a novel mechanism, but there is some evidence that suggests that that might not be exactly how it works. So with a lot of, just like with a lot of psychiatric medications, the answer is we don't know for sure how it works, but the clinical trials show that within a few hours, patients report dramatic relief of their depression. And that's also seen in clinical practice because regular ketamine, IV ketamine, is widely used in clinical practice right now, and we do see great results with it. And with esketamine, I understand that it's people who have not had success with anything else are finding this somehow as a breakthrough. So uh, the initial approval is for treatment-resistant depression. In this case, the FDA defined it as people who haven't responded to at least two other antidepressants. They're also saying that if you take esketamine, you're also required to be on a conventional antidepressant at the same time that you're taking the esketamine. Um, so yes, it's for patients who have resistant depression. And is there a danger of psychotic side effects with something that seems to act so quickly? So ketamine can be abused, uh, and you know, people abuse it because it has dissociative effects. In other words, it can make you feel like you're having an out-of-body experience or you can lose track of time. So when people are abusing the anesthetic ketamine, sometimes they call that K-hole. Mm. But uh, when ketamine is used clinically to treat depression in a doctor's office, it does not cause any of those effects. It can cause mild dissociative effects, so sometimes the patients will lose track of time or they might feel a little bit uh, out of themselves, but nothing like you would see with a party drug. Do you see this as big of a breakthrough as some of the scientists who came up with it do? I do. I think that there's tremendous excitement about this medication in the psychiatric community. Uh, we haven't had a novel mechanism for an antidepressant in probably more than 30 years. And all the antidepressants that we currently use, things that you hear about like Prozac, Lexapro, Zoloft, all these medications work on serotonin or on related molecules. So this is really looking at a new mechanism, um, and that seems to be confirmed by the fact that the medication works very quickly. Uh, it seems to work well in people who have treatment-resistant depression. So I think that there is a lot of excitement that we're turning the page here and that we have uh, finally the neuroscience is breaking through in terms of giving us new treatments. And yet the Food and Drug Administration, they normally required a drug to succeed in two short-term trials, but yes. they sped it up this time. Is it because the FDA also shares that excitement or, I mean, or were they I, under pressure to... I think so. I think that overall the safety and tolerability data really suggested that if you look at a risk-benefit analysis, uh, that it favored approving the drug. And we also have so many patients. So we have 16 million Americans who suffer from depression, and probably a quarter of them meet the criteria for treatment resistant. So that's up to 5 million, 4 or 5 million patients in the US that could benefit from a novel antidepressant molecule. So I think the FDA really wanted to bring something to people who are suffering from this illness. Ziv Ezra Cohen is a clinical assistant professor of psychiatry. Ziv, thank you so much. 320